Someone should know my story. I want you to tell me about Klaus. We just tell bedtime stories about the powerful vampire Klaus. See, growing up in New Orleans, kids, we, we hear stories about the evil Klaus Michelson. Klaus Michelson, the great evil, the cruel, the wicked, the vindictive Niklaus Michelson. So where is the mysterious host I heard so much about? The Klaus I know is real. Who is he? One of the originals. The legend. One of the first generation of vampires. He likes to make an entrance. Look, I've never even met anyone who's laid eyes on him. I mean, we're talking centuries of truth mixed with fiction. Here he is. How do I find Klaus? You don't find Klaus, he finds you. Come on. Somebody's gonna know somebody who knows where he is, right? Add another 200 somebodies to that and you're still not even close. Klaus is the most ruthless vampire in all of history. Katarina, may I introduce to you? I was taken with him first. Klaus. The Lord Niklaus. Until I found out what he was. And then I ran again. It's pointless to run. I'm tired of running. Klaus will find you wherever you are. If you run. I know how much you enjoy the chase and kill them. My entire family. I'm gonna burn this house to the ground. And then when you try to flee for your lives, I'm gonna kill every last one. I'll kill you both without blinking. I will hunt all of you down. You cannot hide from me, Rebecca! Just to get back at me for running. He'll chase us to the ends of the earth. Nor can you run. And he'll find us. I will hunt. All of you to your end! And then what? Then you return to Mystic Falls to resume your life as the hated one, as the evil hybrid? I know what you are. You have vampire head beast. You're the hybrid. You're aware the bite of a werewolf can kill a vampire. Well, as you can see, I'm half werewolf. There's nothing enviable about what Klaus does. He's a monster. We're all monsters, can't you? You're powerful like Klaus is. You just have to bother hiding it. You're the smartest, and the strongest, and the scariest. Were your eyes closed as I slaughtered whole villages? My way through thousands of innocents. You got a crazy original dropping bodies. You know what he did to my family. I slaughtered your family. I will kill you for this. I cannot be killed. Tell me, how exactly would you like to die? My sins were terrible indeed. But they taught the world to fear me. It is so important to you that people quake with fear at the sound of your name. People quake with fear because I have the power to make them afraid. It's Klaus, don't you understand? You don't know this man's dead. We're all dead. For centuries, I have bent the will of countless fools to do my bidding because they feared me. Just now, it was I who took everything from you. You took away everything that we love. Whatever you do to escape, Klaus, you will get his vengeance. But I will seek my own justice. And your friends, your family, on anyone that you've ever loved. You should have warned me of what before was those who crossed me. Yes, you are. Klaus Michelson, you are the most ruthless, wicked beast to ever live. In 1745, he made the mistake of owning land that you wanted. You could have easily taken it. Instead, you turned him and then made him burn his entire village to the ground. This is my time. Such a character I give you. I'm gonna hunt down everyone you know and everyone you know. Everyone you've ever met. Yes! I murdered your loved ones and made her watch as you burned her mother a lot. You're still scared of him. If you're not afraid of Klaus, then you're afraid. You've heard of me. Fantastic. You have spent ten centuries getting the entire world to tremble at your name. Others may tremble at the mere mention of your name, but I know you for what you truly are. A little boy. You are the one who's terrified, Klaus. You are a scared little kid. Despite the arrogant facade, you're still the same paranoid little boy, full of hate and fear. For a thousand years, I lived in fear. Father. Father? <laughs> still clinging to that word after all these years? A bastard, desperate for a daddy. And our father hunted him, hunted us for centuries. Every time we found a moment of happiness, we were forced to flee. Our father would hunt me down and chase me off. Well, well, well. If it isn't the bastard himself. Bastard, yes. That is exactly what I am. The bastard child. My mother's greatest shame. What have I become? You have gone mad from centuries of hating your father. Well, when Michael found out he murdered my real father. Those of us that matter accept you for you. Listen to me. It's 
changes nothing. See, we don't share the same father. Of course, that never bothered me, but my brother resents it deeply. Never felt like he belonged. Your acceptance brings a tad hollow, considering you stood witness as mother bound the part of me these people wanted to kill. You left me to suffer at the hands of a father who valued only strength. I kept you from becoming a beast for as long as I possibly could. Oh, you lied to me! To hide your own transgressions because of your own fear! You were ashamed of me. You stood and you watched as Michael beat me till I passed out cold. I never watched you suffer! I beat you so mercilessly and for so long, I actually feared for your life. You were never the recipient of his cruelty. None of you were. Not Cole, not Finn, none of you! The boy needs to be made strong. You made me feel powerless. Not long after Niklas broke the spell which prevented him from becoming the hybrid, he defeated our father. I thought this would make him happy. And I hated it. He was angrier than ever. You see, I want to create more of me. Is that why you collect hybrids? Your obsession with hybrids. Hey, bad wolf. You haven't changed. Still hiding behind your playthings like a coward. You want someone dead? Go ahead. Kill me. I'd rather die anyway than end up as one of your sire little bitches. Your existence is to serve me. To please me. Please. Please. Your father didn't love you, so you assume that no one else will either. And that's why you compel people, or you sire them, or you try to buy them off. But that's not how it works. You don't connect with people because you don't even try to understand. If you continue to defy me, your lives will be reduced to an unending sequence of agonizing torture. If you don't do as I say, I will hunt down anyone you love and in blood, gore, screaming death. But by hunting Rebecca and Marcel down to the ends of the earth, by terrorizing them the way you yourself were terrorized. Perhaps I should direct my rage toward you. And then you'll become everything you hate. You should see yourself our father. Don't become your father. You look like father. My father lived to torment me. It is not my intention to become him. Darkness isn't born, you know. But I think we can both agree the intervening centuries have turned me into an altogether different beast. Your cruelty made sure of that. It's created. My whole life, I sought the approval I was denied by the man I thought was my father. You turned me into the weakling he hated. You judge me evil. You rant and you rage about the monster I have become, but you, mother. It was your lust that made me what I am. You are the author of everything I am. I just need to be rid of you. To what end, Niklas? So you can live forever with no one at your side? Leaving me alone for all time. Nobody cares about you anymore, boy. Who do you have other than those whose loyalty you forced? Is that what this is about? No one. Loneliness, Stefan. That's why you and I memorialize our dead. There's the briefest of moments before we kill where we literally hold their life in our hands. And then we rip it away. And we're left with nothing. We manipulate. We thirst for power, we control, we punish, but our actions are driven by one singular place deep inside. And what's that? You know, you should be thanking me. I gave you a gift, I took away your misery. You didn't give a crap about me. You just didn't want to be alone. I wanted it to be for all of us. A place we could all call home. A place we could all be a family. Is that what this is? You just don't want to be alone? None of us would ever have to be alone again. We're alone. You are once again worried that you will be left behind. And you will be alone, always and forever. And we hate it. And you will live out your endless days unloved and alone. Has history taught you nothing? We don't abandon you. Nick, you drive us away. Where has everyone gone? You made our lives a living hell. You tormented. You were cruel and controlling and manipulative. No one has stood by your side for so long. Not even I myself. You want to be alone? The only reward anyone ever gets for loving me, class, is suffering and death. How would you diagnose my friend Klaus, if I may ask? He's clearly depressive. Stress-related paranoia. Low self-esteem, paranoia. Chronic anger issues, fear of abandonment. Impulse control. Do you know something, Rebecca, you're right. I don't care. I'm capable of real feelings. I haven't cared about anything for centuries. You long for nothing, care for no one. Claire. Your actions are part of some rules. Which one of us will you be punishing today? I can't forget the game. This was punishment. Betrayal is in your nature. You'd really dagger me? I believe no better than Niklaus. He stored us in boxes. You dagger your siblings and leave us in coffins for decades. I know our family will remain in these coffins. 
Finn for over 900 years, Cole for over a century. <laughs> when blood relations let me down, I don't stop to reason with them. I remove them. No, that man has daggered us more times than can be counted. Oh, brother, no, please! Staggering, fighting, deserting, does your wickedness ever end? Make you suffer on my terms! After all, your own mother turned against you. End this now, mother, or I'll send you back to hell. For a thousand years. I've been forced to watch you. Felt the pain of every victim. If she who gave you life could come to loathe you and then be snuffed out by your own hand. Suffered while you shed blood. And what hope is there for you? You murdered our mother. And both of your fathers. You've endured several lifetimes of misery. Never mind the suffering you've caused others, even to your own blood. I know it would be difficult to win your trust, Nicklaus. Your reputation precedes you, because you're too scared to trust. Wolves cannot be trusted. In your paranoid mind, nobody can be trusted. Where does it end? There is no end! From now on, I am the only one you can trust. And I trust no one. I don't trust anyone. Your dad's never trusted anyone in his life. You have kept me here for weeks, just so someone, anyone, would see who you really are. And now that I have, it scares the hell out of you, doesn't it? I am scared of nothing. Or is it just that you are so terrified? of letting someone, anyone, in. There is no power in love. Love is a vampire's greatest weakness. But a coward can only see the world through his own fear. Mercy makes you weak, and we are not weak. Family makes you weak. But it's as if I see you clearly for the first time, and I find you a cruel, wretched thing. But at the end of the day, the enemies that you have are the ones that you made. Klaus Michael. Sire to a thousand years worth of angry faces. Klaus Michelson, the hybrid killer with a thousand enemies. How does it feel to be this hate? No one will ever sit around a table telling stories about a man who couldn't love. The deeds of the mighty Klaus will be remembered by no one. You've traveled all corners of the world, seen monuments erected, feasted on the blood of history's most extraordinary men, but you've never found true peace. I get it. You're a vampire. It's a tortured existence. I'm sorry, but do you really have to be such an insensitive disappointment? Look at you, repeating the same destructive cycles over and over again. You are the architect of your own unhappiness. At this rate, you'll drive the entire family away. At least they know what family means. You destroyed us. I wanted a family. They just didn't want me. That we could live and thrive as some, as some sort of family. That was your fantasy, no. brother, not no. mine. Brother! This doesn't frighten you, brother. Dad? That one day, your daughter will know exactly the kind of man that her father is. I guess I'm another one of your failures. Like how you failed at making hybrids? How you failed your family? Now it looks like you're even gonna fail your own kid. Come on, man. What horrible deed has the bastard done this time? Do you know in the past I actually appreciated methods to your manipulations? Your family wants you dead because they can never be what you are. What? An abomination? No. A king. I want to be king. But do you not also claim to be a king, darling? Klaus Michelson. Smiling down like a benevolent king, showing mercy to all his subjects. It seems you people respond best to displays of violence. What some would call evil, I believe to be an appropriate response to a harsh and unfair world. I will tear you limb from limb. As I tear you limb from limb. And only then, when you're a writhing mass of blood and flesh, will I rip your heart from your chest. You build your army so big that no one ever dares pick the fight. I will build an army so big, no one will ever touch me. And at last, you will get the retribution you deserve. But we also have a very long history of doing whatever it takes to win the war. If I am going to win this war... Well, you use people to get what you want, it's not... You won't stop until everyone is dead and he will kill you too. I have to do it alone. I have all the faith in the world that you'll get what you want, Nick. I've been known to go too far to make a point, but I do always get results. You always do, no matter what it costs the rest of us. Klaus will do whatever he has to do for Klaus. This, all of this, this is the world that I created, Nick. Brother, all of your schemes, the enemies that you have made every single day of your miserable life, what results did you expect? Where is she? Where is he? You will associate my name with fear and pain. Klaus Michelson! 
can subdue me. Hey! Threaten me with this! I'm the hybrid! You will never destroy me! I shall be killed! I am Plus Michelson! I don't need anyone, nor will I be warned by lesser men. Well, who's next? I am the thing that lesser men fear. And I need them to fear me. Am I supposed to fear you too? It would be better for you if you did. Why'd you paint it? One of my passions. Painting is a metaphor for control. Every choice is mine. The canvas, the color. As a child, I had neither a sense of the world nor my place in it, but art taught me that one's vision can be achieved with sheer force of will. I remember the sweet boy who made me laugh and gave me gifts, who loved art and music. Every artist has a story, you know. I wanted to be just like you. Maybe somewhere deep down. And what do you suppose his story is? He still is the brother we once knew. How could you have fallen so far? He's angry. I know I can be difficult. I wasn't born like this. But I did not make myself this way. He wishes he could control his demons instead of having his demons control him. He is a monster. Do not ever cross him. For you to believe I am the monster they would paint me as. I love my family. He's still in there. Michael who ruined me. Michael started to kill Cross. You were born to create. He doesn't feel safe and doesn't know what to do about it. Have I made you proud, father? Yes, he fights for power, as do all of you. My parents left me. You're turning your backs on you. Look at us now, Klaus. I can't save her if they don't fear me. But his first instinct is to defend his blood. She doesn't know your history. What she does know is that protect your family. I have always done what I needed to do to protect our family from numerous enemies. I make no apologies for my methods. I have a plan of my own. We find this thing and its acolytes, we slaughter a lot of them, and then we stack their bodies into a monument dedicated to those who have threatened my family. I have absolutely no way of predicting what that man is going to do. When it comes to war... Klaus may be a miserable excuse for a sibling, but there is none more diabolical. There is absolutely no strategist that is as great as Klaus Michelson. <laughs> To defeat him, you need me. To go up against her. You need me, don't you? You're gonna need Klaus. Did I really lose? You are. You have always been the most force. What I'm celebrating is the fact that he has matured. I see that he wants to be more than what he is. Today I saw new Klaus demonstrate mercy towards the enemy. Well, that's not progress. I see a change in him. For the first time in centuries, he acted solely for the benefit of another. For once in his narcissistic life, he's doing something for the rest of us. My family challenges the boundaries of my sanity. They drive me to do unspeakable things, all the while finding fresh and inventive ways to torture me. This family makes me want to murder people. I know as much as I've savored the joy of tormenting you throughout the years. But as it turns out, my family is what makes me truly happy. I must confess, you all mean everything to me. Your loyalty and your counsel. You didn't punish Cole. Well, he's family. And you protect him. He saved us. Don't touch my family. You are a Michelson. Maybe a way to save them. Then I will the world to make it so. You're my blood! In fact, you help me believe in something your uncle once said. Will it guarantee me power? Family is power, Nicholas. Love, loyalty, that's power. Family is power. Family is power. Mom said you loved New Orleans best of all. I did once. I forgot how much I liked this town. But putting your love in a place is a mistake. Just for one second, can we just be what we need to be? A family united. I am reminded that it is people who are best suited to fill our hearts. You know you're a good friend, Nick. You take care of yourself. Old friend. Just a few short years ago, when you broke your cross, oh. I held a beating heart in my hand. Do you recall that, Nicholas? And yet here we are, still alive, still family. Thank you. Aren't you full of surprises? Only together can we defeat our demons. You're surprised I came for you. And say our family. Haley, this family comes with many, many hardships, but there is at least one benefit. Family can be more than just those with whom we share blood. You will always have a home here. We can choose. You didn't fail me. You raised me. Your family needs you. Hope needs you. I'm almost impressed by the lengths you've gone to for your little girl. So what the death of an innocent child. <coughs> My child! Oh, I'm not too you know? And I am vicious and hateful. For what you would have done to her. I've got to enjoy making you suffer vengeful. Need to 
kill anyone who tried to take his daughter. The power to protect my daughter. The strongest in the world. For a thousand years, I've never seen anyone successfully stand with her. She loved her. I killed for her. Strong enough to keep all of the bad things away. That one of the countless devoted to your destruction. You'll protect our home. They are people who fight for you. Who you fight for. You declared war when you came after my family. I sacrificed the whole family. And for that, show yourself. Which I will make you suffer as only I can. Because that, that is what you do. That is how you face all our enemies. Anything is possible. Take me instead. Nick, no! We keep going as a family together. This end this choice. There's no way you can stop me. In fact, I used to believe that you were the key to my brother's redemption. <laughs> to our victory, brother. There are moments when I doubt my family is capable of redemption. Yet each time that I am tempted to surrender, I see it. When he heard the baby's heartbeat, I could see it in his eyes. He, he wanted it. No. He could almost taste happiness. The glimmer of goodness that allows me to believe. She believed with all her heart that you had some good left in you. But he does want more from life than to just be feared. And I don't understand why it is you are so hell-bent on proving her wrong. He's too broken to find it himself. But there is light. In you. You believed there was a light in me. All of that anger, the cycle of abuse, that Michael began. You can end it. You have to. That I could be a light. So you can be the light for your little girl. For my daughter. But I do believe there is hope for him. The girl is carrying your child. And the baby that you carry. This child could offer you the one thing that you've never believed you had. And what's that? I want to believe that this baby means something <laughs> to you. The unconditional love of family. I want to believe in you. Before you were born, I was a very different creature. I was cruel, I was mean, and I would revel in the terror which I inspired in others. I'm a thousand years old. Call it boredom. You do bad things for no reason. You do them to be a dick. And maybe it's because I'm pure evil and I can't help myself. I'll stop searching for his redemption then, when I believe there's none left to be found. Because I saw the good in Klaus. I think that this has something to do with a certain blonde vampire. The hundred dollar guy. You see the good in Nick. Don't let us down. The brave bartender. But you owe it to your daughter to try and change the narrative. But hope. From the moment I saw you, I wanted nothing more than to be worthy of being your father. Perhaps it's time for a new story. You have that now too, don't you? It's someone you would rather die than allow to be harmed. Someone you love more than anything, even yourself. That child you carry is the only thing on this earth that matters to me. I, you're all that matters to me. How does that feel to be one of us? Someone with something to lose? What's her name? Hope. Hope. I love you. I love you. I love you. Her name is Hope. This was our hope. Her name is Hope. This was our family's hope. And every soul wishes you harm. He struck down. Because you came for my child! Redemption. My daughter! She's my daughter. I promise you that. I'm going to keep you safe. You had to give me another pep talk on the joys of fatherhood. I've not lived an honorable life. You know that. He's never going to change. Not even for his own daughter. Oh, he will be. She has changed him. What is it that you intend to do, brother? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to save our family. But doing this, taking the darkness into myself so no one else is afflicted by it, Don't. that is an honorable death, and I can do that. I can do it. Hope. Do you understand you've accomplished it 15 years where I couldn't in a thousand? Because you are being a good father, and you are being a good person. And under all that anger and mistrust and cruelty, there was goodness in him. This would be so much easier if you just. Stayed the big battle. Yes, yes, and I will finally reap my just desserts. No, I was gonna say, here you are, finally living up to the potential that Cammy saw in you. I don't think I've changed that much. I do. Because you've helped me feel something that I never thought was possible. And after everything I've done, you truly believe I am redeemed. Unconditional love. Yes, I do. She would have been proud.